going on? Broke ass investor back in the car, except on the way home this time. So why not make another video, right? Quick video today, hopefully. Uh, I just want to talk about the recent news. Um, TD Bank and Charles Schwab both are now offering zero dollar commission trades. Pretty freaking amazing. I mean, about damn time, right? So, why are they doing this? You know why. Robin Hood. Robin Hood has been around, you know, quite a few years now. But, you know, and since day one, they've been offering free commission trades. Which, you know, brand new platform, app-based only in the beginning. People, a lot of people that were already in the market were very hesitant to trust, um, you know, such an app. And then came along M1, and then came along Webull, also free trading apps, different, um, you know, they're better for different things. And over the years, obviously they're making an impact. So TD America, uh, freaking TD Ameritrade brokerage and Charles Schwab brokerage obviously are feeling something so it's possible that, you know, people have left them for this very reason. I know their commission trades were around, uh, I believe it's 5 to $7 each or something around there, rounding up. Um, you know, so you buy one, even one stock, you're paying 5 to $7. You, you sell even one stock, 5 to $7. So obviously, when you are in a brokerage like that you want to do you want to make a count every time you make a transaction it has to count so if you're a day trader you don't want that sure I mean I'm not trying to stick up for day traders but I can't see them having a need for an app that charges that type of fee but uh, even you know slow, lower you know people with lower income trying to invest you have a hundred dollars buy one share of, let's say, I don't know, Target, <laughs> say it's $90, I don't know what it's at now, but you'd have to pay $95, which is completely ridiculous. So how long would it take a loan to make up that $5, you know, between dividends and capital gains, etc. So it's pretty, I always, since I got involved in investing, I always thought it was ridiculous pay a commission. Um, knowing that you had to pay, pay a commission, <coughs> it kind of kept me away from the market in general. Because knowing the commission amount, like five, six, seven dollars, and I'm thinking, okay, if the commission is that, there's no way I can afford to invest. And then I found Robinhood, and sure enough, free trades. So the moral of the story is we all need to thank Robinhood because obviously they have disturbed the space. They have disrupted the sector. Uh, people are feeling it. TD Ameritrade, well, Charles Schwab actually, I think was the first to act yesterday, I believe it was. Um, yesterday being Wednesday. I don't know if we call the date, October 2nd or something, but that, uh, you know, TD Ameritrade obviously did it right after, so I'm not sure they're talking to each other, but those are two big brokerages. So I think you know what's gonna happen from here. All of the big brokerages are gonna eventually cave. They have to, you know? It's gonna be one after another, and last remaining soul, maybe Fidelity, who knows? I believe they're the biggest brokerage. They'll probably be the last one to do it, though. And when that happens, it's gonna be really tough for people to argue uh, why they, why people should use Robinhood. Um, but at this point, Robinhood needs to step up their, their game. Um, I like their app, it's pretty simple, but it's not really good for research and charts and things like that, history, etc. 
I use Robinhood to buy and sell stocks, and that's it. I don't use it for anything else. I mean, what's you can't really, you know, do anything. Um, so they they need to up their game right now. They need to do something. They still do offer crypto, and you know, you can buy and sell crypto for free. So they have that against Coinbase, but when we're talking about brokerages, um, Robinhood, M1, Webull, they they all gotta they gotta do something. Because people seem to only trust the big banks. They don't trust. When, when I say Robin, do you trust Robin Hood? Yes, of course. SIPC or SPIC insurance, whatever it is. All the brokerages have the same damn insurance. 250000 right? What's the difference? You think Robin Hood as a company is going to go under? I don't know. That's not happening. So, anyway... So that's the news that came out. Um, how do I feel about it? I love it. Again, um, one thing that I'm thinking, just right off the bat, is drip is going to be less, less of a thing, less attractive. Why is drip attractive now for these people who use the big banks, uh, big bank brokerages? And honestly, I think the main reason is commission-free trades. They're getting to buy additional shares of a stock or fractions fractional shares of a stock commission free and to them oh my god what a deal I don't have to pay seven dollars I'm paying nothing to reinvest my dividends but now why would I reinvest my dividends if I could simply take that money and invest it into a different stock that's actually on sale because um, you could be reinvesting your dividends at the 52 week high sorry about that and why would you want to do that if you're you know if you're constantly on top of your account um, and you, you're aware of the fluctuations of the market and you'd like to buy in their lows or lower you know be smart about it be have a plan then why set drip you don't have the time I get it you know set it and forget it but that's just one of the thoughts that I had so yeah that's it today uh, just wanted to cover a quick video on that um, like I said let's all thank Robin Hood they're awesome they started this M1 came second I believe and then Webull acorns stupid I don't know they charge a dollar they better do something I know they're attached with the whole debit card thing but you can't charge a dollar anymore at acorns you, you better get with it so anyway uh, that's my uh, that's my feeling about it that's the update at least from a broke investor uh, leave a comment below what you guys think about it and go from there. Alright? Thanks a lot. Later.